It takes so much effort to get to like the first paradigm and then each paradigm after that is like exponentially faster and quicker. We're down to the last few weeks of the project and uh, you know I can see the terminus at the end of the uh, at the end of September coming up and uh, so I know what and where I should be with Caldo Adventure. I've got an amazing start with setting up my initial base mesh files for converting into like kind of higher detail. That's coming along really, really well. Uh, in fact, I've spent like the last good week and a half staying up crazy late and watching a lot of cartoons working on it. So at least my 10 and 12 year old selves would be very impressed. decided that my first run would still incorporate these combat action figures, but I didn't necessarily want to give them weapons or guns or kind of like a, a lethal aspect to it. I wanted to create my project around being inspiring or unusual or different characters. And so that's where I came up with the idea of giving them musical instruments instead of a weapon. So came up with this kind of called the Combat Rock series for my first run. Having a, uh, having the, the, a big fat, like little drum was something I was like, I, I was torn over. Like, well, having a little drum or tom-tom or, you know, kind of thought about the electronic drum set, but uh, the other uh, competing musical instrument was the triangle, but that didn't really necessarily sell the idea of awesomeness. Right now I'm just playing with the poses and seeing what kind of silhouettes I get out of it and uh, whether or not I'll have to readjust everything when it comes down to milling them out of a block of aluminum and uh, finding out whether it's going to work in the long run or not. And that's one of the uncertain things I've, I've got facing me. And, a lot of questionable faces when I start talking about my idea, but at any rate, uh, you know, that's, well, I guess we'll find out.